good morning now let's just remind ourselves she told me that today they're gonna look scary they do a bit i'm not gonna lie but um she said that's and if you if you just come to this vlog and going what is she talking about you need to watch yesterday's vlog because i got my eyebrows micro bladed which is like small little micro to to just basically give your eyebrows a little bit more definition um so i'm not panicking because she did warn me she said i'm gonna probably hate them tomorrow and i do <laughs> um but she said that's fine that's normal it's gonna go away don't worry so there we go i'm glad we've i'm glad we put the disclaimer there <laughs> But today is um, in the diary booked out for Joseph and I. So that's exciting. Me and Joe are going to have a little day today. And this is going to fall, isn't it? Always, always. And we are going to, well, firstly, start off with some pancakes. I'm going to make some pancakes. What am I doing? I haven't even made a coffee. My eyebrows threw me, right? Scrap what I've just spoke about, it's coffee time first. Also, just went and got my little permanent makeup aftercare pamphlet, because so I was like, I'm just gonna double check that they aren't meant to go this dark. <laughs> She's done a diagram and look, this is exactly what it says, which makes me laugh. Day one. Oh my God, I'm in love with my new brows. That was me yesterday, I actually loved him. Day two to four, I don't like this color, it's too dark. <coughs> exactly what I'm doing today. Day five to seven, they're scraping and falling off. <gasps> Day eight, um, my brows are gone. Day 14, sweet, they're coming back, phew. So there's a process, guys. There's a process. Um, so day two to four, I'm going to hate them. Great. Awesome. <laughs> no, I feel like I've had this done before. And um, I feel like I was in a very similar, similar position before. Um, I like to do two pods in one cup. So Joe and the Juice delivers again. One of the espresso and one of the South Beach blends. Good old Joe and his juice. Oh, hello. We're on the road to book launch. Oh, damn it, I didn't put the cup under. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, why did I do that? That's so annoying, guys. <laughs> Very silly of me. Right, I need to clean this up. Cheers, my dears. Pab, not bad. I'm missing sage. Today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. No, today's the day that I am gonna clean that machine. Right, what we doing? Pancakes. <laughs> today's recipe i went for all recipes i like to try something different all the time so um good old-fashioned pancakes this is what the mixture's like looks like a good mixture so let's see i've not tried these ones before let's see how they go hey let's try them oh we did those two close together these are good pancakes. These are good pancakes. That's perfection in a pancake. Look how fluffy they are. What? You know what this calls for. The Diane pat on the back. They're burning though. I am so impressed with these pancakes. Look at the fluffiness of them. Lovely. Now, 
for the stackage. The stackage is the important bit. It's treat day for Joseph. Beach golf. Boom. Some yogurt. Pancakes and little baby rabbits. They could smell my pancakes. You see the rabbits out there? How good do they look, by the way? I've tried to go all fancy and do like a little smother of whatever that is. I spy a rabbit. Right. There, there, there. Hello, little man. So cute. Munching away at the grass. Oh, and look at that bird in the tree. It's waiting for Joe to put its fat balls out. It's literally sat there like, come on, Joe. Where's me fat balls? Joe, there's birds waiting for you. Yeah. Literally, they're like, where is Joe? Right. They sat on the branch looking at this fat ball thing going, come on, mate. Are they actually? Look, this little one here. He's just sat there waiting for you. Right. Look, on that branch. Oh, the Robin. Yeah. Oh, it's Rob, that is. Here he goes again. I'm running out. <laughs> I spend more on Robin than I do myself. <laughs> yeah, you do. He's going to do his fat balls first today. He's changing it up. Double tap it. Oh, he didn't double. There you go. <laughs> He's trying to be the bird whisperer. He's got some out on his hand. He's waiting for a bird to come. Oh, bless him. He's just trying. Can I make you a lovely drink, Joe? So, this. Heat up some milk. Okay. Heated milk in there. gonna burst on me but as you can see all the all the actual Nutella is coming off into the milky chocolate drink oh, so excuse all this mess <laughs> oh my god there's so much mess wait oh let's put it in a glass okay. didn't make much <laughs> Don't drink it all at once. I actually don't like milk milk, so Joe, just try that. See if it's nice. It's almost as nice as my hair. <laughs> mm. No, it's nice. It's like the chocolate from a um, cereal, but warmed oh, up. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's not as nice as like Nesquik or like Marlowe. Fair or... enough. Hmm. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. The chef. Why did you do this to you? Today's mascara brought to you by. Excuse the mess. Brought to you by Iconic London. So here we go. What is the brush like? Oh, these are probably my least favourite kind of brushes, to be honest. The really like stiff, stiff ones. But nevertheless. Let's try it out. Hmm. Oh, it's kind of, it's given like quite a nice little pearl though. I don't know about you guys, but I never ever have used an eyelash curler. Okay. Daily's, just Daily's Diane's. Diane's Daily Mascara Update. So I used the Iconic London um, Triple Threat Mascara, Triple Menace Black. There you go. Joe has no idea I've put the fringe on. If you 
saw in yesterday's vlog, I haven't cut my hair. I got cut a fringe in it so I could clip in. I'll show you how I put it in later. But I want to see Joe reacting to my fringe. So, moral of the story <laughs> is, Joe's not a fan of my friend. No, I, no. He's it's, always hated the fringes, though, so I, I knew he yeah, wouldn't. Let me, I, I've never, in the history of everything, I've never liked <laughs> the, what I used to always call it, I used to always call it an Egyptian fringe. Is that what they call it? Egyptian fringe? Probably looks cooler if I have my hair, like, tied up, I think. Do you know, the only person who I think, who I like it on is Claudia Winkleman. There you go. You know there you I mean? go, Claudia. Joe so, likes your fringe. I like Claudia's fringe and that's it. No, but it's fun for just a little bit of a change. Oh, yeah, no, trust me, yes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 no, I like it. If you like it, I like how, it. How real does it look, though? Huh? It's, I thought it was real hair. It looks real, doesn't it? It will grow It will grow on me. It's quite like like Lego here, <laughs> like that. Maybe I just like tuck bits back. It, it's very um, brighton. It is very bright. It's very bright. Not, you look like you cut your friend with a knife and fork. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Where are we off to, Joseph? Munch. The fringe has definitely gone back in its box. I do like it though. We are back at the Ivy Asia. Last time we were here, I got some sort of drink. Oh, is it in this menu, Joe? It was some sort of like green, Thai green curry, that's what it was called. Yeah, that's as well. We definitely ordered too much. Yeah, we did. We did order too much, didn't we? How sick is the floor? Oi, oi. I went for my famous drink. Cheers, Joey. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. This is one of the nicest drinks I've ever had. Mine's very spicy. Oh my god. Do you want to um, lick my rim? What? I think it's my drink. I do actually want to lick your rim. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Let's get a pleasure on yours. Oh wait, it's salty Joe. And, and chilli. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yours is good too. Yeah. They do some. They, I, I reckon they do the best drinks I've ever had. Thai green curry drink in a drink. Who would have thought? is literally one of my favorite restaurants it's good isn't it it's very impressive. so very good impressive. like what we love is that it's like little plates as well don't we yeah that's very much you you love a little little plate uh, and the drink do where love the drink to go. yeah where are we going so now we're going for a little walk to have a look at some artwork because we fancy getting some new art i'm sick of doing all the art in the house we need some no i love nasty. your art i love your art no, but I do like I do like coming to Brighton to look at the art pieces. Yeah. Really nice galleries here. Ooh. There's lots of what? lots of rings too. See, none of these take my fancy. It's too sparkly. I was just saying how much I actually love Brighton. Such a cool, cool place. What the lanes especially? The lanes, the like colour, the shops, the artwork. <gasps> I do, I even love that. I even oh. love the seagulls doing that. I think I said that in another one of my vlogs. Temperature. It is very cold though, but I mean, it's cold everywhere, isn't it? So we are currently now about to go get some coffee. 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 We had a look at some art sh shops. Um, oh, here's that art gallery, Joe. Have a look first and then we get the coffee. Have you been inspired by the art that we saw today? I just want to, I've always wanted to do 
a small painting that's just very, very thick in pasto paint. It's full of colour. You're so cool. But I don't know if it's going to work. I love that I you just do your artwork. I don't know enough about colour theory. Oh, really? I do. I can help you out. I swear to you, because I'm a hairdresser, I study colour. Yellow and orange is all red. So yellow, orange and red is like earthy tones. Some white in there as well. But if you mix those together, they'll make brown. Yeah. So that's why they're earthy tones. Do you tones. think just keep sticking with the three colours or do you see as many mm, colours? No, I think because you've got those colours, you could, I mean, colours, re you could really honestly do anything with it. I reckon in those kind of colours, you need something like a blue or a purple. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. right, I'm gonna go get dinner for us. What are you doing? I need to go get, go to the grocery store. Yeah, the blue looks good in there. Good choice. I got you some treats, Joe. We have a selection of. Oh, I love those chocolate yogurt. I know you do. Selection of goodies for our um, thing. Oh, I got you this one as well. Dark chocolate almonds. So they're for our road trip tomorrow. Look what I got. Dairy milk, hot cross bun chocolate. Ah, I'm so excited to try this. With raisins, crispies, and a cinnamon flavor. That is new, and that needs to be tried. I mean, a hot cross bun flavored dairy milk. Andrew, do you have this in Australia, my brother Andrew? Let me know because he's been watching my videos and he loved the fact I had hot cross bun coffee. So Andrew, if you do not have any of these, I am personally going to go buy some and send them to you. So let me know, message me in the morning so that I can know whether you've got this in Australia. Because you best believe I'll be sending you some. Right, it is dinner making time. This is the shit my boyfriend does. But... No, I love it. Joe, you're so creative. Well... I say this to everyone, whenever like, I get interviewed about you, I'm always like, he's the most creative genius I've ever met. He's the biggest procrastinator in he the is, world. He is a procrastinator. <laughs> no, this... Can we just have a look at this thing? It's a scrot goblin. A scrot goblin. <laughs> Me, I find it so therapeutic and easy to make. And this is coming straight from my head. That's what's scary, is that I've made this. So it's a scrot, like as in a ball sack? No, I just call it scrot goblins, but they're not actually... Cool. They're not actually that, but I just call them that. But Scrot it's just, goblins. I don't know. I've actually made it for, as a present for somebody. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to package it up, but it's just weird, isn't it? It's very weird. But I'm like, what's, what's this, what's this doing? How do you... I said I would buy, I, I, this is something I'd probably buy for Joe. I obviously wouldn't buy it for me. I think no but if I saw this, house. yeah, but if I saw this, no one wants I'd be like, house. my boyfriend would love that. I'm going to buy him that and like a few others to collect. But, but it sparks the imagination, doesn't it? It's very like, strange. It's... Would you buy this, guys? <laughs> be honest with me now. I feel like I should... Would you buy this? It'd be great for an Etsy shop. But like, because you can imagine, it's like Valentine's Day, right? And I bought you that. What would you do? I'd laugh and then I'd go, where's my present? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but some people out there nah. love that. Nah, idea. it would be, it would be funny. If you made it, yeah, which look, you have, look, Sign Joe it. Sugg, one of one, um, then I would love it. I think it's quite cool. It's just different, isn't it? I mean, there's no use for it. It's just a scrot goblin. Yeah. Well done, Dre. Thanks. <laughs> um, excuse me. <laughs> How many mochi bowls did you want to eat then? Yes. Did you eat? Yes. <laughs> did you eat a whole packet of mochi bowls? Yes. Joseph. Three packets. How <laughs> <laughs> many packets? Yes. Did you eat a whole packet of mochis? Yes. No, you didn't. No. Those blonde ones are my favourite, though. Oh, are they? Uh, yeah. My new fave. Oh, I didn't know that. Good to know. Mm. These ones are his fave. Though. Right. Sage, you are getting a wash. <laughs> a wash. <laughs> Is that what you say? How to descale a sage machine okay this is gonna be hard isn't it oh god we don't oh, have a machine like that one. sorry about that we don't have that we need i think it's the sage barista oh wait Ain't... oh yes espresso machine cleaning tablet oh that's what we want 
Why am I getting so excited over cleaning a coffee machine? Wow, on a Friday night. This is what excites me now on a Friday night. Okay, so, well, this is all in a different language. Awesome. Just, oh God, I'm so confused. Yes, hang on, I can find it. <sighs> Okay, so, no, extracting espresso, no. And cleaning, care and cleaning. Remove the water filter and water filter holder. What is the water filter holder? <clears throat> Good golly. Make a, we recommend to replace the filter after three months. Oh, I don't think we have any other filters. Installed. Joe, do we have any more water filters? I just want to know how to descale it. Descaling the Brista Pro. This is what I want. Go on. Wish me luck on the filtering of this the video, Sage we'll show you how to Barista Pro. Cycle. Yes. Cycle. Yes. Do not right. Water sensor D1 will appear on your LCD. Filter the steam icon to descale the steam one. Where did that came from? Huh. No, it's coming out. No. Fill tank. You have now successfully completed the descale cycle on your barista pro. Joe, I did it! Joe! Joe, I descaled the machine. You've actually done it properly. Do you read the instructions? Yes. No. Yes. I descaled it. I think the, the thumbnail and title of this vlog is literally going to be called I descaled the Sage coffee machine. I'm so happy with myself. It's the first, first thing you've ever actually Look. I watched Descaling the Barista Pro and I did the whole sequence. It's the first time you've ever actually done something with this machine. I know. Like properly and actually looked after it. I'm so excited that I just did that. It was really stressful at one point. Done it. The water was just coming out everywhere. I was Try like, that. what is going on? No. I can tell because I'm stood in it, my feet are wet. Yeah. <laughs> but are you proud of me? I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm relieved more than anything. Thank you. I, you should have done that about six or seven months ago. <laughs> does say that we should be changing the water filter though. Yes, yeah, we need, yeah. But I don't think we've got any. I told you that about a year ago. We don't have any, do we? Do I need to order some? Probably, yeah. I'm okay. sure we have got some somewhere. Mm.